Many suffer depression in silence. Let me repeat that. Many suffer depression in silence. God bless you. This is Bob Bennett back again with a short video for Victory Over Depression. This is a, a key part of it because it's important to understand the deep depths of what those struggling with depression go through. We want to be able to share it with people, but at the same time, some it's sometimes it just backfires on us. So I pray God use this short this this short time we have together to really help you and bless many people. Okay. Um, for those who don't know, I had depression for decades, oh, well over 30 years, 17 of them as a Christian. Not anymore, and this is the ministry God's now appointed me tools, and I'm, I'm humbled by it. So I ask your prayers, but at the same time, I, I ask you to pray for those who may be watching this, because sometimes they just need a word from God. See, what, what, what is happening when you have a deep pain in the heart... And being where emotional beings, we're made to share. We're made to communicate with people. We're made to interact with people. We're social beings. Now, that doesn't matter. Uh, the beings could be good. Good emotions could be bad emotions. But it's important to express them. And those who, ha those who suffer depression want to express it. But a lot of times, and this is just the such a stigma in the church in the body of Christ that somehow it, there's a miscommunication that Christians should not be depressed or it's usually an attitude of get over it what is wrong with you are you kidding me you need to pray more you're not fasting enough you're not rebuking the devil enough you're not reading the Bible enough there must be a secret sin in your life my goodness, how can you be depressed when all Jesus has done for you? And that's just a tip of what Christians who are struggling with depression have experienced when they've opened up to other Christians about the deep pain and suffering. So this, this video is more of like, not just a healing for them, but more of an awareness to help you understand, if you don't, as a Christian, what it's like that people are going through. It could be well-meaning what's being said, but what, it, but what it comes out as being said is like a fiery dart from the devil. It pierces the heart. Understand, people have deep pains. That's one of the reasons so many of us come to Jesus, but that doesn't mean the deep pain, pain goes away like that. One does not wake up depressed one day. One grows into depression, usually after an exposure to continuous negative adverse circumstances. And many of us never knew how to handle them growing up. So we accept that as being normal. That's why we always feel, in, we often feel inferior, hurt. And we absorb that so personally. We like to play the victim. We want people to feel sorry for ourselves. We feel inferior. We always feel like everything is our fault. And those are just a tiny tip of the symptoms that depressed people go through. And because you become born again and Jesus comes to take a residence in you, doesn't mean it goes away like that. Now, God can do that. He can do anything. However, like I said, you don't wake up one day depressed. You grow into it. It's like a downward spiral. So what happens... To grow out of depression, God will walk you out of it. It's a step-by-step -step process. It's the same thing like just as growing as a Christian or growing into any profession or any any role or responsibility. You're not going to get it like that. You grow into it. So to say things that are just so insensitive, it makes the Christian who is struggling with depression and wants to share it, it makes them feel more condemned and judged. My goodness, that's just a double and triple, triple unnecessary whim put on them. So what we do instead, we'll just suffer quietly and silently. We'll shut people out. And that makes it worse. So if you're struggling with depression, yes, you have to be wise on what you share with people. You don't need to share all the details. But you never want to shut God out. And that's critical. And that's why you always need to first understand how much God loves you. 
That's the foundation. If you believe God does not love you unconditionally and accepts you for who you are, you're going to have a problem. That's why I always say, look at the cross. And more importantly, that I always stress, look at the victory. The victory. The, re the victory that reflects it in your life, even though you may be severely depressed, is who lives inside you. That's what's called the new creation. It's Jesus in you. There's your victory. And that is what God is looking to expose into you more and more. There is your victory. There is your, over you are an overcomer. He's your winner. You're a champion. You're royalty. You're a child of God. And don't let man's influence... Now, there are good Christians out there who know how to minister the right way. But a lot of them don't. So don't... So don't get caught off guard. Yes, be wise whom you share with, but don't get surprised if you f if you feel more condemned and judged. It just teaches you, you know what? I don't need to say this to certain people, right? Amen? So be encouraged. Look at the one who lives in you. That's more important than anything else. That's where my victory came from. Christ in you. So we do, we, we're aware of depression. We look at it. We don't stay there because Jesus buried it he killed it at the cross and he buried it in his tomb when he rose. So he left it there. So in God's eyes, your depression is dead. D-E-A-D. -E dead. <laughs> it's not alive. You keep looking on it, you can sort of give it life, but only God's opinion matters. And God's opinion matter is that your depression is dead. So look to the one who lives inside you, Christ in you, and use wisdom as you share to people, and God will slowly start looking at the healing. See, when you look too much more at people's opinions, you're, gonna, you're going to go into a shell more and more. We want to look at God's opinions. And that's why you get along with him and let him work on your heart. Amen. I pray this be a blessing. God bless you. I have another video maybe on a similar subject or a similar, perhaps a continuation on this one. God bless you. Take care. Ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao, ciao.